One of the things that I think is really important is realizing what you can control. Our mental health becomes worse when we try to control things that we can't and we take responsibility for things that aren't ours. We always have to remember that when there is chaos in the world, it is an opportunity for us to look inward, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, verily Allah does not change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves. So this is a time to look inward and say, well, the collective condition of us as an ummah is reflective of our hearts. How can I fix my heart? Secondly, this is not the time to lose hope. This is not the time. We are not an ummah of hopelessness. We are an ummah that was taught that even if the day of judgment is befalling us and you're planting something as small as a sapling, a small plant to still plant it. Now, I want you to think about this. Is there anything more chaotic than the day of judgment? No. But even then, the Prophet وسلم, is teaching us that if you are doing something, a small good deed, like planting a, a sapling, a small plant, to still plant it, what is that? It's that even if there's chaos around you, focus on what you can control. Focus on the good that you can do. Let me tell you, I have seen people in the worst conditions look for something they can control because this is the epitome of resilience and strong mental health is you look for what you can control. And we see this in Palestinians right now. They're meant to, they're, they're surrounded with chaos. They look for something they can control, whether it's they're in a tent and they're cleaning it and they're, they're beautifying their tent as much as they can. A woman who on Eid day, her house was crumbled and she was pulling her rug out of the rubble and cleaning it and making herself a cup of tea on the day of Eid. This is what we are taught in Islam. If there is chaos around us, let me focus on what I can do. This strengthens us mentally. So if you are getting hopeless because of everything that's happening in the world, look for what you can do. Ask Allah to help you see how you can be utilized. Ya Allah, use me, use me in these times and help me focus on what is in my control. Because when you filter out the noise and you all, and you start focusing on what is Allah gonna ask me about, you actually become mentally decluttered. But when you look at the inter external world and you forget Allah, it becomes so overwhelming, it burdens you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Don't get me wrong, what is happening in Gaza and what's happening in Palestine should affect us emotionally, it should. And we should be, you know, so um, heartbroken at what's happening. It's okay to not be okay right now. It's okay that we are all struggling because of what's happening. But at the same time, we have to take care of ourselves and we have to make sure we're still showing up and not being hopeless.